Today is a big day. Yeah. Let's go make a baby. <laughs> We're back in Connecticut. Today's the day that Flory and I have our fertility appointment. And this is our first time ever talking to a doctor at a fertility clinic. This is all new to me, and it's new to Florian. So we're just going to get educated and see what our options are. Today is the day we go make some babies. <laughs> babies, no, buying the store to make, like, <laughs> you know, buying ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> because of my age, I am a little nervous to hear what the doctor has to say about our options. The older I get, you know, the harder it gets. Are you nervous? No. Oh, I'm not nervous. I mean, it's, it's a big doing, day. It's a big I'm day. This is like... There's nothing wrong to be nervous. We're to not. Be happy. I, know, I know. I'm not saying like a, a, a bad nervous, like a good nervous. Like, today can really affect the rest of our lives. I mean... What if he tells them something we don't want to hear? Like, man, a little okay, nervous about that. Okay, but I'm here for you. 50% 50, 50 I believe to this guy, to this doctor, 50% I believe in in a God. I don't believe to this doctor 100% what I say. They say like, good things, I don't believe 100%. They say like, bad things, I don't believe the same, same way. Understand? I understand you're being open-minded and coming and... No problem. Oh, I'm here for you. Doing what we need to do. Here for you, just to make you good and make you sure you're good. Yeah. Imagine I have twins. <gasps> Ooh. Oh boy. Double trouble. Double trouble? Mm -hmm. You want twins? We'll be uh never sleeping, that's for sure. Yeah. I know what it's like to be a twin. I don't know what it's like to raise a twin. Sure. Like I have twins, like there's in Stasia. Ah, oh, God, help me. <laughs> Baby, be so blue eyes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The name is Joseph, the name. Oh, we have a little boy, <laughs> name him Joseph. Yeah. yeah. What about girl, girl names in Albanian? Katerina. Katrina. Yeah. Oh, that was my name in French class in high school. Catherine. Yeah. All right, baby. Oh my God. This is it. This is the moment we've been talking about. And... Oh, yeah. All right, we're here. Let's make a start of something new. Little baby, little bambino. Bambino. <laughs> Hello. Hey, hi. Stacy, Florian. Hello. Welcome. Thank Please come you. in. Okay. Will you be my baby daddy? Baby. For life? Yeah. Aww. <laughs> it's a pleasure Exciting. to meet you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so I'd like to hear your story. Florian and I have been together like almost six years now. We are newly married, and we feel like starting a family, so we're trying to create a plan, and. I have two amazing sons. He's never had children. There is an age gap. I'm 46 and he is 29. So we wanted to consult with you to see what our options are. Mm -hmm. Have you been trying to get pregnant? Um, you know, it's, it's active life style. We don't use protection, right. so it hasn't happened yet. So typically after you've tried for a while and you haven't been successful, I usually suggest that you do some testing. Okay. My concern is, of course, your age. Yeah. Once you get into your 40s, the number of eggs that you have is reduced. Uh -huh. And you see very sharp decline in success. And of course, you know, there is an option to take your eggs and actually mix the eggs with the sperm and make embryos. Mm. That's called IVF. Uh -huh. But there is another option nowadays if you basically take your eggs and freeze them, and then keep the eggs until such time where you're ready to have a baby. Yeah. But <clears throat> the, the, the thing is, because of the age factor, I think you need to be more aggressive in, as far as the approach. Mm -hmm. This is starting to feel really real. 
I'm hoping that I have at least a year or two. But I'm 46, and I just need to know for myself, you know, how my body is doing. It's the unknowing is what's scary. Nothing fears you. The odds are slim that it to happen naturally, I guess. I, I don't know. I mean... Yes, I think the odds are slim that it will happen naturally. You know, I feel like freezing the eggs or, you know, um, would probably be the right solution. The next step would be to do the testing. Okay. Sort of figure out where you are and what your chances are. So typically at the very beginning, we do some blood work, we do an ultrasound, and we test your egg production mm -hmm. because it's, it's a little bit hard to determine how good they are. I need to take these tests because I need to know what's my egg count, what's going on, am I able to have children with Florian? The test is everything, and that scares me. So the window of time we have is not years. Are you talking months? You should not delay. 